So we have with us Sudeep. He cleared exam today. He gave exam in center. So it's always amazing to listen how someone has cleared and get their lesson learned from that. So Sudeep, first of all, congratulations from the entire PMP community on clearing PMP Thanks, so above target. Please share your journey, Sudeep. Uh, so I started my PMP journey way back in 2020. Mm -hmm. So my initial uh, uh, contents were your YouTube videos. At that time, PMP were more towards predictive mm -hmm. rather than agile or hybrid. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I continued my journey through 2021. Mm -hmm. I also referred a few videos, few contents here and there. Mm -hmm. But mostly I... I was uh, following you, your YouTube videos, your mm -hmm. journey videos, particularly, and your coaching calls okay. from the beginning. Okay, that's and um, I like the journey videos of team, stakeholders, communications, mm -hmm. quality, quality risks, and procurement. So these were the few journey videos which I went through well prior to my exam. As well as before that, I was seeing your videos re related to change control board and the entire PMP uh, within two hours videos. So mm -hmm. those videos were quite helpful. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And okay. apart from that, I saw like you were solving questions initially based on topics like CCD, integration management, quality risks. So I went through them also. So that gave me a fair bit of idea mm -hmm. uh, how the PMP actually is, how the PMP is structured. Okay. And I am also certified Scrum Master. Oh. And, I, and I also did a lot of Agile certifications in the recent past, okay. as well as I was applying Scrum principles in my current project. Okay. I am working as a Scrum Master for Quality Assurance Team. So mm -hmm. I have a fair bit of idea regarding Agile and hybrid methodology. So okay. that also helped me in acquiring the knowledge in the Agile portion. Okay. So I, will worst with, I was well versed with Agile content. Mm -hmm. Only thing where I was lag, lagging was managing my time. How could I manage my time? So I followed your instructions, like reading the last line of the question, go okay. to the options, okay. and then read the questions. Okay. So I followed this methodology, and I was and with this methodology, I was following your coaching call videos as well as Andrew Ramdar's video. Yeah, they are so, very effective. And another video which I found which was very good and very interesting was David McLachlan video of 200 Agile and Hybrid Question Solution, which okay. is available in YouTube free of course. Okay. It gave a very good insight on the Agile mindset and servant leadership that we need. So what uh, was the name, David? A McLachlan. McLachlan. Yeah. Okay. okay, Hybrid and PMP. Hybrid and Agile questions. Yeah, he has 200 set of Agile and hybrid questions. Okay, okay, I got it. I got it. Okay, that's seven hour video in which he solved the question, right? Y yes, yes. So okay. that was pretty much helpful, but I knew most of the agile concepts, but it it was more of a brushing the agile concepts prior to giving the exam. But okay. even yesterday also, I followed your video uh, on, on the coaching call. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that was quite good. Okay. Okay, let's talk about the exam. Which simulator mocks? Did you do any simulator? Question. Uh, uh, no, ideally I did not. Only do any coaching simulator. calls from Andrew. only coaching calls. Me from Andrew and Andrew. okay, that is good. Yeah, That's a, like that is an interesting thing <laughs> that now when uh, people are asking me because I was very much confident yeah. on the agile portion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's talk about exam. You give the exam in center, so exam yes. was dominated to which which area more. 75% of the exam was based on Agile, 15% mm -hmm. on Agile come hybrid, mm -hmm. and rest 10% was on predictive. And interestingly, it was more into change control board mm -hmm. and earn value management. Although we don't need to solve problems directly, but based on the questions, we need to uh, deduce a conclusion. 15% well, was more into earn value and uh, uh, this thing, right? Or the entire exam? Uh, uh, no, 10% of the questions were on predictive, where uh, on value management and change control board were more dominating. Okay, okay, I got it. Okay, let's talk about the 70% of the exam. When you say 70% of the exam was towards more towards agile. So if you put it this way, this means the, if I putting that way, the people exam was people dominated, like stakeholder communication team, 
is it so uh most of the questions were um, hybrid like they, um, like uh, by combination of three you can say like people stakeholders and communication so i cannot say like these people is more dominating than stakeholders or but stakeholder communication say stakeholder communication team that is that were the that is all mixed up that yeah. was the more dominating portion more dom yeah that is the uh, same trend but the key yeah. to solve the, those questions were servant leadership and agile mindset servant leadership and agile mindset was the key to solve any of those questions and there were many questions related to virtual teams video conferencing collaboration negotiation mm -hmm. all those areas okay okay so um, for most of the questions is, i was able to... uh, where you took your 35 hours training i did it uh, through linkedin uh -huh. there was sandra mitchell yes yes who, were, who was providing the 30, 35 hours video okay Okay. So okay. I did it. I did my 35 hours video from her video. Okay. Okay. That is. And then uh, I also went to Joseph Phillips Udemy videos. Ah, I watched most of the videos, but it was so boring. Like I gave up my hope on watching those videos. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> that's very rare. Uh, Joseph. Phillips. I also read Rita Mulkai. I did not read the entire book, but I solved uh, the exercises related to those books. But I didn't feel uh, that much confident. Uh, once I solved you, the questions in your coaching calls through root cause root cause analysis, I used to be one of the best book, but uh, yeah. right now Rita is more of a outdated. In the current, yes, you, yes. you gave the exam, you know that better than me. That Rita is now more. But I think those knowledge are required. Knowledge is required, but required to solve these questions. Since since you are more of a scrum uh, already a scrum certified for you, Rita is okay. But from yes. those people who, who don't have the that information, for those people that becomes an interesting, challenging thing because Rita does not have that much an agile. Okay, let's talk about how did you manage the time? Can you share that thing? Uh, for first 60 questions, it took me around 80 minutes. Mm -hmm. For the next set of 60 questions, it took 70 minutes. Mm -hmm. And for last set of questions, it took around 70 minutes for me. Okay. And I got few time around five to six minutes left in my clock <laughs> where I was reviewing my last 60 questions. Okay. Okay. So where you are uh, last 60 questions. Oh, that's a, yeah. that's an interesting thing. Like you, since your speed was so good and you were able to manage all those things without any simulator. No, then, I followed, I followed your technique of solving the questions, okay. like reading the last sentence, going through the options, then read the whole question mm -hmm. and then do the process of elimination. Process of elimination is straight for the most important thing. Okay. Yeah. Uh, any formula question you mentioned that there was unvalued questions so any questions in which you have to actually use the formulas to calculate it uh not formulas like they have given like ev equals to this ev equals yeah, to this has, then yeah. and then they give some conclusion so automatically you can deduce no need to calculate yeah. anything mm -hmm. okay 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 that's an interesting thing to put it in the context okay and uh, what about compliance? How many questions were on compliance? Uh, around 20 questions were there in compliance. There, 20 I got a lot of questions on compliance. Yeah, compliance is becoming more and more important. Yeah. Okay. And like if I put this as virtual teams, emotional intelligence, uh, training needs, which of them were more important in the exam? Virtual teams training needs and emotional intelligence which was more important uh virtual teams and training needs go side by side side by side okay that is interesting thing what else was important in your perspective in the exam mm, uh, having a good knowledge on change control board in predictive environment yeah, because see, i got a lot of questions i did not expected a lot of questions on change control board but I read the video of your change control board journey and that helped me in solving those questions. So that actually helped you in solving the question. Okay, okay, that was an interesting thing. Okay, so thank you very much for your time. You actually came the way you, you emailed me, then you messaged me on LinkedIn and you yeah. came. <laughs> yeah. Your final advice to PMP aspirant who are preparing for PMP exam. I would advise them to go through your journey videos and follow your coaching call methods. Mm -hmm. um, 
um, re review each of the practice questions thoroughly, what they're doing, do a root cause analysis, even if it, if you make it correct, do a root cause analysis. Mm -hmm. Try to gather the crux of the question. I think that is the most important. What is the, what is the question trying to tell you? Because mm -hmm. that will help you to solve that question in the real time. That will and you. always think from a agile servant leadership perspective. Uh, like you are managing a team, you need to do servant leadership, you need to do collaboration, you need to do uh, negotiation, training. If you have that servant leadership mentality, you will be able to clear the exam. You will be able to clear the exam. Thank you very much, my friend, for giving our time and best of luck. I would like to thank you for all the journey videos and the coaching calls that you shared in YouTube. You know, it was really my... helpful. I think many people uh yeah are benefit getting benefited i from actually those got calls. like multiple emails today because weekend is coming <laughs> so many people yeah. are giving the exam yeah. so now you know my mantra each one teach one uh anyone yeah. that because once i'm sharing this journey people will be reaching out to you i tagged you on linkedin so people will be reaching out to you sure so definitely each one teach one and keep moving forward thank you my friend thank you very much thanks Samir.